Welcome back everybody to Blue Collar Bassing. Guys, today we're taking out the kayak. We haven't taken out the kayak in like, I don't even know, probably like three, four months I would say. And I'm super excited. You know, we're gonna be fishing uh, primarily for smallmouth today. And you know, I've been just loving the smallmouth. And it's something I haven't really, you know, been into in the previous seasons for some reason, I don't even know. Uh, but I, did, I guess I just didn't realize there was so many smallmouth on this river system. But the thing about the kayak, guys, I'm going to be able to get into places that I really can't with that John boat and be able to get out and bank fish and stuff in certain areas where the current is really strong. I'm not even running the uh, DIY anchor system today because we're not going to need it. If we get to a place that has current, we're going to hit up some banks. We're going to, you know, park the boat and we're gonna get off and bank fish. That way we don't have to fight that current. And I just, I hate messing with the current, guys. I wish I had a power pole in the back of this thing, but hey, we on a budget. This thing right here, 225 bucks. I rigged it up with the uh, seat and the crate. Please watch my DIY kayak build video and I kind of break down how to do all that stuff. But yeah, we're throwing uh, a couple different things. We are throwing, we're gonna throw this little crawl. I think this is the Wee Yi Rebel Crawl. Throwing some Ned Rigs. We got some green pumpkin tubes. And we might throw the popper. And I got my Revo X reel. We got the Quantum Throttle, which is actually my favorite. We got the Xfinity, and then we got the Ozark Trail spinning reel there. Because the only thing is, like yesterday morning, I think it was like almost 90 degrees. I come out this morning, it's 50 degrees. That's why I got the coat on. Crazy temperature drop. I don't know how that's gonna affect the fish. I'm sure it's gonna do something. But hey, maybe, maybe they're gonna be biting today. So we're gonna we're gonna find out. Guys, stay tuned to that next video. I'm gonna make a 400 subscriber giveaway announcement. And the only videos, guys, if you are watching, the only videos that you can participate in the 400 subscriber giveaway was the two bank fishing videos that I posted. And there was only like three comments on each one, but guys, we're gonna type in your names in that random comment generator and generate some names, and we're gonna pick a winner. All right, so stay tuned for that. I'm gonna actually do that on the computer, show you exactly whose uh, name and comment got selected, and we're gonna send out those Strike King coffee tubes to you very soon. Guys, stay tuned. We're gonna get out here. We're gonna get some smallmouth today, and I hope we get some big ones. Before we actually go out, we're gonna try some of this cover over here. We have some new Ned rigs. So I'm using the white smoke right now. It kind of looks like a, a bait fish or a little shad. And I got that paired up with the Ned Locks Ned rig, which is a extra wide gap hook with that mushroom head. And I think it is gonna work out just amazing. I got some kinks in my line here. God bless. I thought we got all these out. Guys, braid can be amazing, but it can also be a pain in the butt sometimes. There we go. I casted a lot better. Man, it is... It is nice to be back out on the kayak. Wow. And we're just doing some early morning kayaking <laughs> before work. I even got my uniform on. That's how uh, much of a time crunch we're on. Guys, one cool thing about the kayak is I feel like I can be a lot more stealthy in the water. And it kind of just, I guess, acts like a log floating down the water versus the big boat, which I know isn't a big boat, but for a river system, it, it just makes a lot more noise. You got the trolling motor going. Just naturally makes a lot of noise. 
So a lot of times when you're navigating these, these river systems looking for bass, uh, particularly smallmouth, you're gonna find them before the current a lot of times and then definitely after the current. They're waiting on those bait fish, crayfish, all that forage to kind of wash down to them. A lot of times they'll be facing upstream while doing it, you know, hiding behind rocks, logs, current breaks, and they're just gonna be stacked up like that most of the time. Oh yeah, there's a ton of wood down here too, man. We're gonna have to park up on this bank and just have at it. And it is super still water right here. Dang, that log's big enough you could almost get out and walk on it. Oh yeah, this looks like smallmouth paradise. So to work in around these logs, I'm definitely using this, this tube and you can work it out in the shallow too. But what I'm gonna do, if we get on down there, anywhere where it's like this deep, where it's two feet, three feet deep, I'm gonna pull out that little bitty crankbait and kind of just bump that along the bottom, kind of causing a bunch of commotion, trying to stir up a lot of different uh, sediment on the, on the bottom there and definitely draw in some of those smallmouth. Oh yeah, I think we can definitely get out right here. Going up. We're gonna have to do it very strategically. There we go. There we go. It's a pretty decent one. Nice one to start out with. Look at that. Take it. Heck yeah. Decent little chunk. And little dude wanted the tube. What can I say? That thing looks pretty good. All right, that's a good sign. Let me get this thing out of there. Beautiful little smallmouth. Yeah, he's probably never seen too many baits thrown at him. Look at that. Ripping those lips, baby, right before work. All right, dude, get back in there. And he's off. Didn't even mess the tube up. Guys, this uh, tube I'm fishing, it's got green pumpkin on half of it. And then on this side, it's kind of like a watermelon red, but it's got blue flake in it too. So I kind of leave the green pumpkin side up. I think it, I don't know, I like green pumpkin. Got one. He ain't that big though. Kind of out of that same, same little area, we got that other one. This isn't the same one though. Dang, a little Ned, see a little Ned lock? Worked pretty good. What's that thing? It's the same kind of design, except it's got that EWG hook. A little one out hook. A little weird looking, it's got kind of a pale color to it. All right, get you back, bud. Almost didn't think I had that one because it was so close to the shore here. I thought it was literally hung up in the, these little logs right here. <laughs> Couldn't find out it was just a little guy, but hey, it's whatever we caught two. 
It's like, what the heck did I do with my fishing rod? Look at that. It is buried. <laughs> Can't lose that throttle. It's my favorite one. Gonna battle this current a little bit. There we go. Running right at us. This little teeny thing. Guy, but he was in there. Little guy, yeah, he's in there waiting on it. Pretty little fish. Hitting the old white smoke Ned rig here. Guys, if you've never tried these Z Man Ned rigs, you definitely should. This Elastec, last, I kid you not, when that packaging says 10 times longer, that's no joke. It's 10 times longer, maybe even more than that. Yeah, they, they catch a lot of fish and they don't get tore up. Honestly, I end up losing more because they either get snagged up or something like that than the fish actually tearing them up. All right, we're heading back to the truck right here. Super easy morning out on the kayak though. It's pretty seamless. And super happy. I mean, we got four fish. What more could I ask for, you know? I mean, we could ask for some quality fish. So I actually caught one more one pound smallie right after that last fish. Didn't realize till I got back home and was actually looking through the recordings. I didn't even have the video camera wet, on. So. Guys, I hope you liked the video. I know we didn't get on a lot of good quality fish today, but I still had a lot of fun. Hopefully this uh, motivated you to get out, target some smallmouth along streams, rivers, whatever. And guys, stay tuned for that giveaway announcement. I'm gonna be doing that video probably either tonight or tomorrow and we'll be announcing the winner and like i said it's from those two bank fishing videos that's where i kind of advertise the 400 subscriber giveaway and guys if you missed out on that one please stay tuned for the 500 subscriber giveaway go to my main channel page click on the 500 subscriber giveaway video and guys follow the requirements on there it's notification bell subscribe also leave a comment in the comment box for any kind of video ideas. So uh, hit that one up. If you missed out on the 400, hit up that 500. And guys, we're gonna be doing this all the way up, at least past the thousand. I know you guys can get me there. You can help the channel grow. We can grow together. And guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for showing me the support. And like always, hit that like button if you like this stuff. That lets me know you like, you know, the kayak, fishing trips you like the sun dolphin trips whatever the rod reviews hit that like button subscribe button turn on that notification bell and if you missed out on that 400 subscriber giveaway guys turn that notification bell on and you'll stay informed when i do giveaways like that okay so do that and guys thanks for watching this video